Hey folks, good morning, how's it going? This is Mr. Moray coming to you with a do now for Friday, April 3rd, 2020. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is this is a little enrichment video, but I'm going to be recapping function analysis and graphing in intercept form just because I don't want us to get rusty on this skill. I know it's been a little while. We kind of did this right leading up to the uh, the COVID-19 closure. So here's what I want you to do. Go ahead, graph this quadratic. You, you can make a little coordinate plan on your paper if you need to. Think about what I always tell you to make when you're doing a graph. Okay, so graph it. And then I want you to find the domain range where it's increasing and decreasing, where it's positive and negative, and the end behavior. Okay, so pause the video, answer the graph and the analysis. Then when you're ready, unpause, and I'll show you what I got. All right, so remember, I always say to make a table. So that's where we're gonna start. I'm just gonna use my fancy schmancy smart notebook line tool to make my table look real nice. So I've got my X's and my F of X's. Now this is intercept form. So I know that off the bat, two and negative four, one, two, three, negative four. This is where I wanna start. And then remember, because of the symmetry, uh, all right, we know that the x of the vertex is always right in the middle of the x of the uh, the x-intercepts, right? Because of the symmetry. So that is, if one intercept is negative four and the other is two, then my vertex has to be negative one because negative one is directly in the middle. And we can see we get that nice symmetry because we know we've got the axis of symmetry that comes right down the middle. We can see it's nice and symmetric, okay? So I'm gonna back out that line of symmetry just because I don't want it to interfere with our graph. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug in negative one and we see what we get. So I do negative one minus two, that's negative three, negative one plus four. And notice if you get this right, these are gonna be opposites of each other and that is algebraically an indicator that you found a number that's right in the middle of those intercepts, right? And that's what we know, right? So for, for that is to say, right, uh, negative one is three less than two, and negative one is three more than negative four. So it's the same di absolute distance away. And what this gives me is negative one, essentially, because things of as negative one, negative one times negative three, which is three, times three, which is nine. So I get negative one, nine. Now I do ask always for five points at the very minimum. If you remember our rule about how it's going up and down, you can use that to help. I'm gonna plug in zero, and I know that zero is the same as which other one? Negative two. I strongly encourage you to go back and take a look at any of my videos on my YouTube. Um, and that, those will also be linked on the will not dot fail if this is something that's still challenging for you or maybe you forgot. So I plug in zero, zero minus two is negative two, zero plus four is four. So I essentially have two times four, which is eight. Use the symmetry and I'm just going to get fancy with it. I'm gonna do one and I know one is the same as negative three because one is two away from negative one, three is two away from negative one. So I do this, I get uh, one minus two, which is negative one. I'm doing negative, I'm doing one because that's easier to plug in, at least I think so. So I do that and you get five. And for those of you out there who might still owe me the graphing test, I hope that you saw this video because not that these are either of the problems, but because this is a really important idea. Okay. So this is my graph here. Again, we can see it points down. I have a sense that that's going to happen because my A value is negative one. So what's my domain? My domain here is negative infinity to infinity. My range is, and I need to put a parenthesis on this because it's pointing down. So my range is negative infinity. And then you're gonna use the vertex as your reference. So it's negative infinity to nine, 
hard bracket because it, it actually gets to nine right at the vertex. And if I ask you for the vertex, by the way, it's negative one nine. If I ask you if it's a min or a max, it's a max. Where is it increasing? Remember, this should be x values. So from negative infinity to negative one, because remember, you use x values. So it stops increasing when we get to negative one on the x axis. And then it's decreasing from negative one to infinity. Okay, where is it positive? So it's positive starting, and these x intercepts should show up. So it's positive starting when we get to the x-intercept negative 4. goes all the way to when x is equal to 2. And it's negative in two places. First, it's negative from negative infinity to negative 4. That is to the left of, sorry, that is the left of negative 4. And then it again is positive. So we put the u from 2 to infinity. Okay, finally, end behavior. So I did notice in the project that there's still some flipping around here. Remember, it's as x goes to infinity. It's important that you say the x goes to infinity first, not f of x, x. f of x goes to negative infinity. And then as x goes to negative, and remember, the order of these doesn't matter as long as your conclude to me, as long as your conclusion's right. So as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to negative infinity. You can also say that the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x is infinity. And the limit as x goes to negative infinity of f of x is negative infinity. Okay, you could say it like that as well. Either notation is 100% correct. So hopefully you're able to get these all right. Um, I may in the, in the coming days be maybe rolling out some a little, a little bit more practice on analysis. Um, we'll talk today during the Google Hangout about my thoughts for how we can make homework a little bit more constructive and a little bit less stressful for us. Um, but that is a system that I'm rolling out bit by bit because I got a couple different classes that I'm playing around with that. Okay, so best of luck. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in the Hangouts. Keep it up. Don't forget to love math. All right. And as I say, remember, you can do it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.